Hello and welcome. In this section, we will be starting the Core Data Services, also known as CDS. Now, why CDS came into picture? Let's understand what we were doing when we were creating your views in your HANA database. Now, we have seen previously that in HANA database, we can use attribute views, analytical views, calculation views, and all of these views has some advantage to it. Now, what is the drawback? If I'm using multiple calculation views in my reports or in my Fiori application or to give customer reports in some BODS or some other UI and customer want some small change to be done on a functional field. What if the functional field changes? Then how many views would be affected? All of the views will be affected. We have to go manually in all the views and do those changes. That is a very time consuming activity. So that is the second thing which we see. Now, when I talk about CDS views or when I think about CDS view, I always imagine green lantern. Now, that's the reason why I have put this picture here. Now, what is the power of green lantern? Green lantern has a ring and this ring can take any shape based on what you can imagine. So that's what I think as a CDS view. You can basically use your syntax to create a structure in the database. You can use a structure which can be used in ABAP code. You can create a structure which can be exposed as a OData services, or you can also use a structure in OpenSQL. So these are all the ways you can use a CDS view. So basically it's a ring which can form itself into multiple different objects based on what you're thinking. So it doesn't have much limits. So similarly, I will think that as a CDS view, CDS view is created by using your Eclipse when you are having Eclipse ABAP development toolkits within the Eclipse. Now, when I use these two, I will be able to create CDS view and CDS view are as the name suggests are views actually you can read data from it you cannot really change the data of a database you will be using views to combine multiple tables together with some conditions joins filters can have user defined function with it can try to be more fancier by passing parameters as well into your function so these are all the things which we are already doing with the old views, the calculation views, we were able to pass parameters to do some functionality checks or do some functions execution there. So the same thing can be done in the CDS views as well. And primarily this is a view. So you would be getting a data structure return, which you are basically reading. So that's the why I equate it with Green Lantern. You basically select and it becomes something which you can view. So it, it may not be functional. The ring might not create objects which will be used again and again, but it is for temporary purpose, you can view something. So that's what a CDS views is. It basically is created with Eclipse ADT plugin. And um, it's basically a data definition language where you define a structure. Now you can also query structure and um, this is basically done with a BAP code. So once I have created a structure in my CDS, then I can reuse that. For example, if I have a piece of code, then I can basically copy that piece of code and I can basically try to add my own implementation there. I can also use a CDS view inside a ABAP code. If I have a ABAP code, then there are two ways of implementing CDS view. Either you can call a CDS views or there's also something called AMDP. And in this AMDP, you would be basically creating a class and that class would have methods as of, of course that class will have methods which you can use. And this method will be calling internally this CDS views to expose you functionality through object oriented patterns. So that can also happen. So you can make the CDS view use inside class. So getting a layer of abstraction 
and if you're a vapor you don't need to really get exposed to cds views you can get exposed to this uh, classes and methods involved and you just call the methods and then that methods will give you the required data so that's how also the VAP program can execute or use cds view or directly you can call cds views in a VAP code open sql syntax will be of course written in a VAP and within the open sql syntax you can use the cds views apart from that as well we can use the cds views and directly expose them as odata services and you can filter this and you can add more query options in that odata services and integrate directly to a ui5 or a fury app so that's how much the futuristic cds views are now from our previous what were the issues the first issue were it was not reusable now in the cds views we can reuse we can basically copy a piece of cds code and we can put it back and again use the same piece of code and start from there we can transport it all the cds views comes inside your abap repository once a cds views is created you have to activate it and uh, you have to assign a package on it and once you assign package then it goes inside the abap repository and you can transport to multiple system then and then it's flexible because you can use in in multiple different ways directly you can expose them as a api or data apis or you can basically use only the structure to further define structure or you can use in a bap code so these are the three main advantage of cds views over our traditional views or native hana development view so these are native hana development which you will see primarily in hana sql advanced and professional codes a lot so that's the advantage of cds now coming into the flavors of cds there are basically two types of cds broadly categorizing so let's see what are these two categories before we start into hands-on exercises